let's go ahead now and take a look at the player tab. So this gives you a sense of a player profile. So let me go ahead and actually load up here a, a, a player profile from a test user that we use. You can see a couple different fields about this player. You can see things like where this player came from, in this case Android. Uh, every player has a unique ID in the PlayFab system that, that uniquely identifies them. When the account was first created, when it was last logged into, whether or not the player is registered for push notifications. If the player had linked their account with multiple other accounts, they would show up here. So currently PlayFab supports linking accounts from a lot of different players, places. And if you look at our documentation under, for example, account management, you can see that we have the notion of linking accounts from Android, from Facebook, from Game Center, Google, iOS, Steam, uh, and then of course unlinking all those. And then we're always talking about adding um, new accounts as well. For example, Twitter is on our list of things we'd love to incorporate at some point. So you have this notion of linked accounts. You can see the login history of all the times this player is logged in and from where. You can see the inventory of what this player has in your inventory. You can grant items, you can revoke items, you can, if an item's already been revoked, you can reinstate an item. You can see uh, virtual currency of how many units of virtual currency they have. You can see any player data. We, we store key value pairs for players as well, like, like we did, like you saw already for items in the catalog and for the game title. Uh, in fact, we actually have multiple different buckets of player data that you can store for players. So here what you're seeing is your standard read-write player data. But if you look at our documentation, it's actually pretty interesting. We actually have the notion of uh, key value pairs for players that are tied to a publisher, key value pairs that are read-write from the client, key value pairs that are uh, read-write from the server but read-only from the client, and even what we call internal stats, um, which you can't even see at all from the client, but that you can only read right from the server. So there's information, you can store key value pairs on a player that only the server can see that the client can't see at all. So that's very convenient. So key value pairs, and, and, if, and if a key is public, it means any player can see this property. If a key is private, it means only this particular player can see uh, his or her own properties. We have player stats. Player stats are a special type of player data. They have to be numbers, they have to be numerical and they're used for, and any player stat can automatically become a leaderboard, can be used for matchmaking, and automatically get put into our analytics system as we'll see a little bit later on. And then we have a ban system, so if you want to, you can ban a player. Uh, you can ban a player for any reason, uh, and, and ban them for a period of time, and do both a hard ban based on IP address or MAC address, or a soft ban based just on this particular player's uh, user ID. So that's the basic account system. The idea is that a customer service rep might log in here to be able to edit or manage a player's uh, profile as part of customer service.